Taiwanese and Japanese warships reportedly teamed up Saturday, May 1, to shadow a Chinese frigate sailing near their respective countries' waters. On Saturday, the ship tracking Twitter account August posted a satellite image showing a People's Liberation Army Navy, Type 054A frigate prowling the waters of the East China Sea. Giving chase to its south was an Abukuma-class destroyer escort from the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Southwest of the frigate. What appeared to be either a Ki Lung-class destroyer or Kai Yong-class frigate from the Taiwan Navy could be seen shadowing the Chinese warship. When the satellite image was captured, the Chinese frigate was estimated to be about 125 kilometers from Keelung City, 132 kilometers from the Japanese island of Yonaguni, and only 62 kilometers from the disputed Diaoyutai Islands, Senkaku Islands. That same day, Japan's Ministry of Defense, MOD, announced the encounter and released footage of the planned warship. According to the MOD, the Chinese frigate had been spotted about 150 kilometers northeast of Miyakajima on April 30. The MOD stated that the Chinese frigate had then headed west and sailed between Keelung and Yonaguni on Saturday before heading north toward the East China Sea. As its position on Saturday was near the Diaoyutai Islands, Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force not only sent a destroyer but also a Kawasaki P-1 maritime patrol plane and a Lockheed P-3 Orion maritime surveillance aircraft to monitor the ship from the air. During a meeting of the Legislative Yuan on Monday, May 3, Taiwan's Minister of Defense Chu Kuo Cheng said that the military is fully aware of the enemy's latest movements, whether they are near Keelung or other areas. He stated that as long as they are within the scope of our surveillance and reconnaissance and scope of our responsibility, including the contingency zone, we will definitely send ships or aircraft to deal with it. Chu added that the military will not announce which nations it cooperates with, but when it comes to self-defense, we will carry out what surveillance and investigation is necessary. Meanwhile, Japan is rethinking how to use its tanks to prepare for a potential clash with China. Despite a few successes early in World War II, Japanese armor was hopelessly outclassed by Allied tanks as soon as they arrived in large numbers. Those experiences and the threat of a Soviet invasion led the Japanese to put much more effort into post-war tank designs. By the 1990s, Japan had a large and capable armored force. But the Japan Self-Defense Force JSDF, has had to recalibrate in recent decades. The threat from a rising China has forced Japan's Ground Self-Defense Force GSDF, to shift from an armor and artillery intensive force based in its north, where it would have responded to a Soviet invasion, to a more mobile one able to reach southwestern Japan at a moment's notice. To do this, the JSDF is making a number of changes including investing heavily in transportation capability, new armored vehicle designs, and reforming the GSDF's tank arm. Japan's tank force was actually quite modern and innovative during its development between the world wars. But while Germany and the Allies had the industrial capacity to update or create new tanks during World War II, Japan's industry was comparatively limited. Moreover, since Japanese plans in that war involved pushing south into areas where massive tank battles were unlikely, most funding and resources went to its navy and air services. After the war, Japan, now with access to Western technology and designs and convinced of the importance of tanks, focused much more on developing a capable armored force to fend off the Soviets. For most of the Cold War, Japan's tank force was made up of Type 61 and Type 74 main battle tanks, armed with 90mm and 105mm guns, respectively. They were both capable designs for their time and were fielded in large numbers. In 1990, the GSDF introduced the Type 90. At 50 tons and with a 120mm gun, it is by all accounts a first-rate tank. Equipped with modular composite armor, a laser rangefinder, fire control computer, thermal and night vision, and an autoloader, 
it is similar to Germany's Leopard 2A4. The Japanese believed Hokkaido, the northernmost of the home islands and the closest to Soviet territory, would be the front line of any invasion, and most of Japan's tanks were stationed there. By 1976, the GSDF had some 1,200 tanks and about 1,000 artillery pieces, mostly in Hokkaido, where much of that armored force is still stationed. 